Okay. So basically what the slip and slide add-on in Google Slides does is it allows you to add slides to slideshows that you've already assigned to students. Um, so it can connect with Google Classroom. Um, if you're assigning students, not you personally, but if people are in the high school and they're assigning students um, slideshows via Canvas, this can also work with that platform as well. So it really um, works directly with Google Slides itself, not with any particular um, like uh, assignment type program. So um, the app itself has been installed this morning. Um, they did, Tech did say that it should be functional. You should be able to see it when you log in, um, but it might take a little bit of time to, to get added. Um, so you might not see it right away. Um, I have it downloaded to my personal account. So uh, that's where I'm gonna do this tutorial from through my personal account so that you can see it. Um, but it should be available to you pretty soon um, in your Everett account. Um, it is, so what I'm doing right now is using the free trial. I'm not quite sure how long the free trial lasts, but it is only $8.50 forever. So um, if you look at it today and you're like, oh, this might, this is really great. It might be worth it for $8.50 <laughs> to purchase it to make your life a lot easier. So I'm going to start from the very beginning and show you how to do this. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. It's actually really easy um, when you watch a video and somebody shows you how from the start. So basically, what I have here is a digital interactive notebook that I downloaded from Teachers Pay Teachers. And essentially, I want my kids to have this notebook, um, but I don't want them to get all of the pages at the same time. Because as I'm sure for your students, it is too difficult for them to have it all and then sort of pace themselves on when they're supposed to do it. So basically what I want is I wanna assign it to them and have them do the first two slides. And then I wanna add in slides, um, you know, on, on, a, on a new day for them to like continue to do later on. So maybe on Monday, I want them to do slides two and three. And then on Tuesday, I want them to open it up and have slide four be there, but not five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is gonna show you um, how you can do that with this app. So basically what I've done is this is the original version of the notebook, okay? Um, all I did was make, I right clicked and made a copy of it. And then I called it the copy I renamed to be start because it's like the original that I'm going to assign to them in Google Classroom, digital interactive notebook. So um, as you can see, it's the same thing. The only thing I did was I just deleted slides four through 10. But this is what they're going to start with when I give them their first assignment. It's only going to have these first two slides on it. So now I'm gonna go into Google Classroom and I am going to assign it to two different classes. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this. Um, Ms. Horace, I know you're working with multiple classes. Um, so you would be able to, to do this to, for both of your classes at the same time, for kids in both of your classes at the same time. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to trial classroom. That's my first one. I go to classwork, create my assignment. I'm gonna call it digital notebook. I'm gonna add the file from Google Drive. And I'm gonna use the start one because that's 
not the original. I'm going to use the one that only has the first two slides that I want them to use on it. And then I'm going to change this to make a copy for each student. So each student gets a copy of the digital notebook. And then I'm going to assign it. So that's done, class one. Now I'm going to go to my second class because I have two classes here. I'm going to do the same thing, create digital notebook. Here it is. All right, start. Like I said, I'm going to change this to make a copy for each student and click assign. So now I'm not sure if you know this, but in your Google Drive, there is a folder for each assignment that you have created in Google Classroom. So it's really easy to find. So here is my Google Drive. If I just go here and search Classroom, you're gonna see I have folders for my COVID trial class and my trial classroom. If I click on the COVID trial, you'll see that I have a folder for all of the assignments that I've assigned, digital notebook being one of them. So it's right here. So basically if I click on that, all the kids who I assigned, there's only one kid in my Google classroom. Um, all of the people that I assigned this digital act, uh, interactive notebook to, I would have all of their files here in this particular folder under digital notebook, okay? So if I go back to my classroom and I go to trial classroom, it's the same thing. Um, if I click on digital notebook, here is my one student's interactive notebook, okay? So now what you're gonna do is now you're gonna say, okay, it's Tuesday, I want to add slide four to the kids digital interactive notebook for them to do it. So now I'm gonna go back to the original document. So actually here it is. Um, it says original digital interactive notebook. So this is my original copy with all of the slides on it. So now I'm just gonna click on add-ons and I go down to the slip and slide app and I select start and then it has to load and it takes a little while and it does this and then it will X out and now it's ready. So I have to go back to add-ons, click slip and slide. And then I have to add the folder where my student documents are. So I'm gonna click add multiple folders and I'm gonna click select a folder. So now I have to find that digital interactive notebook for all for both classes. So I'm gonna go classroom and I need to find the file in the trial classroom and in the COVID trial classroom. So I'm gonna go this one first, trial classroom. Here it is, digital interactive notebook. That's where the assignment is and all of my students' documents are. So I just single click on it and then click select. Then for description, I'm gonna write trial classroom so I know which one it's going to. So I know that this will go to the digital interactive notebook in the trial classroom. Then it's gonna, you have to wait a, a moment and it's gonna ask if I wanna set up another class. Select yes. Go to select a folder. I need to do this in my um, tr COVID trial class too. So I'm gonna go to COVID trial. Here is my digital interactive notebook folder for the assignment in my COVID trial class. I click select. I'm gonna type in COVID trial so that I remember which one I'm assigning it to. And that's it. I only needed to to be able to slide a new slide into kids in the COVID trial and in the trial classroom. So I'm done. Now that I'm all set up, once you do that once, 
this will already be set up for you in this particular document every time you go in. So you won't have to do what we just did every single time you wanna add a new slide. You just have to set it up once, okay? From now on, when you open this document, you go to slip and slide and you're gonna see your two classes right here. So now I wanna slip the slides to kids in multiple classes. So I'm just gonna select this. I'm gonna pick the classes that I wanna slip the slides to. And then I am going to choose the slides that I wanna slip. So you could either start with slide one, you could start with the current slide, or you could choose a slide number. I personally want to sl start with slide um, four. So I want to slip them slide four, this one up here over in the corner. And then I can, I can choose. Do I want to only slip them slide four? Do I want to slip them all of the remaining slides? Do I want to slip them slides four through six? Or do I only want to slip them four? If I only want to slip them one, I just choose one. Okay. And then I have to pick where I want to put it. So if I, I can just click end. So basically I want to put it in the final position. I could put it at the start if I forgot like the beginning slide or I wanted them to see that one first. Um, or I can choose where I want to put it. So say for example, um, I forgot to add in a slide and I wanted to add something into their slideshow, I could just slip it in at the correct number. I'm just gonna click end because I want it to go in at the end. So now it's working. So now the slides have been slipped into Adrian Kaminsky's Digital Active Interactive Notebook in COVID trial. And I have I'm the same student in both classrooms. Um, Adrian Kaminsky's in uh, the trial classroom. So now if I go back to my students view, I can see it. So here we go. I'll log in as my student. Uh, where is Adrian Kaminsky? So Where's classroom? Um, here it is. So here I am, I'm the student. I go into my trial classroom. I pull up my digital interactive notebook. I've already completed slides two and three. Now I wanna look at four and I open it and here's two and three and you slipped me four. So now I can work on four. Okay. And it would be the same in, in the other class as well. There we go. Okay, here's my fourth slide. So it's not that bad to use once you do it once or twice, it's pretty easy. Like once you do the setup, it's super easy to do. Um, the setup is the only thing you have to find the folder that contains all of the student documents from Google Classroom. But otherwise it's, it's pretty easy. Do you guys have any questions? So they can, then type right into that document, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So then it's available for them to use. As long as you, you remember when you assign it, you have to make have you have to make a copy of it for the kids so that right. they can write in it. Um, I've made that mistake before of assigning it as view only, and then nobody can do anything to it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you just have to make sure that it's a um, it's a copy. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Do you guys think you would use it or? 
do you think it'd be worth it to purchase? Are you using digital interactive notebooks right now? Any I have journals? Not, not yet, but I would like to start with some journals just so that they have something to go to when, you know, I need to assign students to a breakout room or something where I need to, a couple different things going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're nice. Um, I know that sometimes like my big concern when I saw them was like, oh, this would be really overwhelming for a kid to get like 40 slides at one time. And then to remember, like, especially your kids in special ed, like, oh, I have to do slides one through three today. Then, <laughs> you know, four through six the next day. Whereas if you can just slip them in on the day that they're supposed to do it, that will be helpful, I think. Right. So what I'm doing now is I'm just assigning them. Like if I would have a notebook like that, I just assign one page. So that's right. all they would see is one page at a time. So in the end, they don't really have anything that's complete. Like a whole notebook, right? It's one, one page at a time. Right. The nice thing is too, like I slipped those, the new slide in at the end, but you could put it at the top. So then that would be the first thing that they would see. So they wouldn't have to scroll all the way down. Mm -hmm. Um, to like find the new one, unless you wanted them to, to like see all the work that they've done and they come to the bottom and they get to the blank one. Right. But yeah. So I think it's a, I think it's a pretty cool tool. So but you know how you end up using it, let me know. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, if you guys don't have any other questions, I think that's it. I don't think so. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop recording this.